by this time i'm pretty sure you have heard all of the amazing updates canva has released and in this video what i really want us to talk about is the top five updates i am super excited about because look i believe canva has come a very long way and looking you. at some of these features look they're actually mind-blowing so to make this video as interactive as possible i would also love to hear the updates you were so excited about i'd love to hear them in the comment section below so without any further ado let's check out the first update i'm super excited about We believe this next era will be defined not by how much we know, but by how boldly we dream and what we choose to create together. This is our moment to step into a new era, the imagination era. So the first update is gradient text. When I heard this, I was like, wow, now we don't need to always try to find our way around to try to accomplish gradient text instead of canva this is how you can do it so i'm just going to come here in canva and i'll just add you know a blank canvas let me just go in for social media okay and in here i'll just choose any blank social media canvas so now that we have this loaded all you're just simply going to do is to add a text okay and with the text we can just make this big and i can say gradient all right i'll just change my font type because i really want this to look beautiful so we just come into the font just to change them because i just want to use something interesting so i just go with this and i'm just going to make it big you know and i'll just change my background to black now to add a gradient to your text all you have to do is to come to the text color choose the color and you can see gradient all right and in this way you can now choose any color combination of your choice so we can come to a blue, okay, or um, no, this is actually a purple. The second color can, you know, be something like this. And I think it's actually beautiful. So this is a two color gradient. We can add more colors. So with the same text, you can just come here, just choose the gradient and double click. We can add more colors. And with this, I can come here and add an extra color to here, add an extra color to here, add an extra color, bring that here. Okay, so it means we can add up to how many? Three and three, six colors. And this is what we have at the moment. I think this is so beautiful because I've been looking forward to when Canva is going to actually release this feature and finally they did it. The second amazing update that blew my mind is the video 2.0. You know, initially we could always edit videos in Canva, but Canva has made it better with the new editor it has introduced. So Let's take a look at how it looks like and some of the possibilities. And mind you, there's a future video coming up on how you can make interesting videos using Canva. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. Okay, so let's take a look at the new video editor, which Canva called the video 2.0. All right, so back inside of Canva, we'll just choose video doc type. Okay, and we'll just go to mobile video, right? And it should load beautifully for us. Yeah. Now we can see we have this new video timeline over here, which I think looks beautiful. So to add your video files, you can just come into, maybe you can just pick them from your element or your upload if you have them. So I'll just go into upload and choose this, okay, into the video timeline, all right? And with the audios, you can actually pick them from here. So once you click on the plus icon, you can see you can add, stock photos, stock videos, or you can just have a blank page as well. All right, and you can also bring in your audio. So this, I can just put it and just bring it to the audio track, okay? You can see how we have it. Now we can just click here and add, you know, some stock photos. So you can just choose this and you can see it's been added. And one beautiful thing is that you can now stack videos on top of each other. That's what makes this exciting. So we can even bring this video here and we can just place it here. You can see, and this is what makes video editing so beautiful. We can also stack another video just right on top of here. And you can just keep stacking the videos on top of each other and edit them. You can not just videos, you can also add your text and all of that. So if I just press T on my keyboard, you can see we've been able to add our text and it's showing over here. We can also add elements. 
So we can come here, just come into, let me just search for flower. Okay. And we can just stack it upon, you know, on top of our video editor and it's been added over here. And you can just move this around. You can trim, you can crop, you can just do everything you'd like to do in a normal video editor platform. And I think Canva has been able to achieve that with this beautiful update. And I would like to know what you thought, what type of video would you like me to create as a tutorial? Even though I have some plans on there, I also love to hear from you. Moving on to the third one, which is the email doc type. And I think at this point, you just need Canva to run your entire business. That's what I truly believe this time around, because looking at all the fresh updates from Canva docs to websites to emails now, I think it's just crazy. So let's see the new doc type and how it can be used, okay? So let me just go back into my Canva homepage and I'm just going to click on email, right? So with email, you can see design a new email. And for the sake of this video, let me just close this pop-up. I'm just going to add a template, okay? So we can just click on this and choose any of the beautiful template Canva has. Okay, it's been applied. And what makes this interesting is that you can actually send this as an actual email. So there are two ways to go about it. The first one is to export this email as HTML file, okay? HTML images, you can see. And the second one is PDF standard, all right? But what if we want to be sure if this is actually like going to be looking nice, we can send a test email and I'm just going to enter, you know, the subject line. I'll say, what I'm just going to say over here. So woof, woof. And I have my email in there. I'm just going to send a test email. So we see how it appears on our email. So let me just quickly open it and um, we'll see how everything is actually looking in our email. All right. So here we have it. And I think it's actually looking beautiful. Let me zoom out more. This is actually beautiful. All the links are working. And this means you can actually do more with your emails this time around using Canva. If you don't want this, what else do you want? And one of the interesting things I'm actually going to make a video on is how you can edit your emails and send those emails using your Gmail. That's a video that's going to come up. So please make sure you are smashing on the subscribe button so you don't miss that video because that is for anyone who runs your, you know, your business. If you want to be sending interesting emails, I think this is one of the things you can actually do. Let's move on to the next update I'm so excited about. Now, some time ago, I made a video on how to add forms into your Canva website. And, and with that, we needed to find a third party app that could help us embed forms in our website. But now we don't have to think about you know, adding third parties anymore. So you can now add forms into your website directly inside of Canva because Canva released a fresh update called Forms. This can help you collect information from your customers on your website. Let's see how it works. So I have my beautiful website open here. There's something I've made a video about also, and the template is actually free. You should find it somewhere in the description box below. Okay, so we have this portfolio website I have, and let's assume we wanted to add a form. If all I can just do is to just add a new page. Okay, so I can add a new page, and all I'll just come to is element. In element, all we need to do is to search for forms. Okay, so we'll search for forms and you can see there are just so many options. We have events, we have feedback, we have other, you know, and you can, and we also have business. So let's say I wanted people to subscribe to my newsletter. I can just add a form from here. So I can just click on this form and you can see it has been added over here. So with this form, it actually worked because when anyone enters their information, it would pop up inside of Canva, you'd be able to have access to all the data you can collect. Okay. So and then I can just add a text. So let me just, you know, copy and paste and I'll just say, you know, be part of the loop. All right. So something like this and I'll just make it big. All right. So this is what I have over here. Now for this form, you can edit the form. There are so many things you can add, you know, if you want to add star rating, you can add them. So you just click and you can see it's been added in here for us. So once we come here, we have the mood meter, depending on what you want, you can just click to add them. Okay. And I, oh, I don't want, okay. And I, I don't think I want all these stars. So I'll just click to remove them. So delete, then we come here to delete. Okay. So we just want to keep it 
very simple so let's reduce it and let's keep it here like that okay i think this works now the other thing is that we can also customize the color so once i choose this i can just you know click on this and everything else can be looking this way the text can be white okay so this is what we have you can edit the colors of the forms to match your branding you don't have to worry about that at all so let's assume we added you know our name in here and i'll just click on this and submit how do you see it? once you come to responses you are able to see it. you can see total and we can see everything in here you can link this to a canva sheet which will actually take a whole video i'm preparing you know to explain how everything works so you can be able to use forms beautifully in your canva website so this is how it looks like you know just from the top all right the most excited update for me inside of canva is the fact that you can design with ai now and it's actually better let me just show you how the whole thing works okay so we'll just come into the canva ai and we can just say design a happy birthday post for me okay and just like that canva show design everything so we'll just give it some few seconds okay it looks like we didn't even have to give it some few seconds it's actually done so i really can't wait to see what canva has been able to do because when this was spoken about i was like this is very interesting so wow this is actually better better than i imagined you know all right it's giving us some options so let me just go with the second one over here now initially you have to open this in the editor before you can make edit but this time around you know we can just edit things over here so i can just see the day bob and once i once i click on the submit you can see it's been added beautifully for us we can change the color you know very nice i think i like this color palette wow you can apply color palette straight from here i think i like this one it's actually beautiful now to some of you who may want to you know take this to the next level you still have the option to add this to the canva editor and once you click on it it should load out it should load up the design in the canva editor for you to be able to design and everything is editable everything is editable so this is so exciting which of these updates are you so excited about inside of canva i would actually love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below the name is benjamin and watch out for all the detailed videos i'll be creating on this amazing update so yeah. and always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in the next one peace